Somerville is known for its music scene and its commitment to community service. So when one nonprofit teamed up with local musicians and a video director, the result proved we are truly a summer village. Our Brendan Donahue brings us more. Uh, it all started because uh, Michaela from Newfangled Studios, she lives in Somerville, and uh, she sent us an email and she said, you know, you know, I appreciate the work that you do. I live in Somerville. I'd like to help. She said she wanted to do a video and we needed a band to do a song in the background. I said, well, there's this, you know, my favorite band, uh, most of them live in Somerville. Let me ask them if they would do it. So, uh, you know, I sent Ryan an email and he said, sure, right away. I think a lot of bands yeah. would have done what we did. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. it was like, it was a pleasure. And I think yeah. I mean, we got lucky. Yeah, fun. right. But it's a win-win situation, you know, it, it gives uh, Somerville Homeless Coalition, um, you know, a little spotlight and, you know, kind of draws people's attention to ways that they can contribute, whether it's running in their road races or just contributing money. Uh, gives us, you know, a, a little more exposure, and, uh, you know, the studio, Q Division as well, it just, it's like kind of a win-win situation for everyone that's involved, so it's, yeah. That yes became the soundtrack to a new promotional video for the Somerville Homeless Coalition. The band, Hallelujah the Hills, has also released it as a single on their band camp. I love the song. And then, uh, you know, because I thought that they really sort of capture what we were trying to say about it takes a summer village, but uh, they also got the, you know, that hip Somerville energy. Mm -hmm. Another signature event though is uh, Porch Fest. Make that oh, right, yeah. That's, yeah. You know, we sing about it in the song. Yep. Along with Fluff. Mm -hmm. Yep, Fluff Fest. Also, uh, honk, you know, Honk Fest in Davis Square. Yeah, like that's happened. A, right, that's a thing you'd never get away with anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Somerville has always prided itself as uh, the, the most dense city for artists in New England. Mm -hmm. And, you know, artists are struggling, you know. It's like here's Somerville going through this massive, you know, gentrification, displacement. And so p people who came here years ago because it was an affordable place to live where they could get, you know, loft space, studio space, mm -hmm you know, are, are struggling. Even though some artists some themselves are, are struggling to remain in the city, place, they are always ready to help out the Homeless Coalition that and that other Somerville nonprofits. You know, uh, Johnny Dees has had the Christmas Cavalcade. Uh, this year will be the 11th year. Chandler Travis gets all these great musicians to come and they have this hysterical night of holiday music, uh, mostly profane, but some <laughs> serious. Uh, you know, that's 11 years. Uh, Red Bones has done a pig roast for us, and they get all these bands to play. You know, during the pig roast, you know, like the second line band that just, you know, had the honk festival here in Davis Square. Um, the Burren does a, a show with Irish music for us every December. Um, it's wonderful. I mean, I think that that's the, really, to me, what makes Somerville such an exciting place. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Brendan Donahue. You can find the full video at SomervilleHomelessCoalition.org and download the song, It Takes a Summer Village, at hallelujahthehills.bandcamp.com.